Hi Aries, this is your 2018 May mid-month reading and I'm going to do the mid-month and then after this I'm going to do the how does he or she feel about you in this same video. So I'm going to shuffle the cards again. Aries, May, mid-month 2018. Let's Aries. Month of May Your overall energy is strength, which I should have guessed because I just saw it pop out and then now it's like your overall. <laughs> so this month, again, you're needing to be strength, strong. No matter what the situation is, most likely it's probably bad if you're requiring strength. In the past position, you have the Ace of Wands which tells me you your current your situation is new like this for some of you this person is new maybe a month you've known this person or 3 months but it's fairly new the situation and judgment you may be reevaluating the situation because I mean it is someone you just met for some of you um, you may be trying to be smart in the situation trying not to make mistakes maybe you made mistakes in the past most likely and I feel like you just slowly watching this person making sure you're not slipping up, making sure they don't remind you of a previous person who may have hurt you. I feel like you're just keeping an eye out and being cautious. So let's see. The Hierophant. I feel like some of you are taking the traditional route. Um, some of you may be dealing with a fire sign. For some of you, this fire sign is pretty young. I'm looking up here. Pretty young, maybe younger than you, for some of you. For some of you, the person may be older. But I feel like this person has traditional views, or you are keeping traditional views, and it may be either getting in the way or maybe you both share these views and it may be good for the relationship and maybe there's no need to be so cautious. So, you have the Four of Wands, which tells me, let me see, which tells me that this, for some of you, this person may be good for you. And I feel like this is for those of you who are with someone who is older. I 
feel like the people who are with the younger person need to be on watch. Because if that person is the younger one, you may be this older person who is more wise and needs to keep an eye out. But for most of you, I feel like even though you're cautious, it's not looking too bad. It's looking like something that is grounded and could be long term, even if you're not speaking right now. I feel like when people separate for a short amount of time, because you don't know each other, you may have had a fight, and you feel like, oh my God, it's over, but you never know. You really never know. So you have the emperor. And again, I'm seeing this person is more mature. For some of you, it's someone older. Or this is you, the older person. What I'm seeing in this, this reading is like a huge age gap, whether you're older or they're older. And the older person is really cautious. And for those of you who are not talking to this person, you require you need to be strong because I feel like it's coming back around and it's not such a it may not be such a bad cycle. It may not be like a past cycle where it's just been on and off, on and off. This may be the person may come back around and it may be more stable. So let's see. Seven of Wands. I feel like some of you are the people who are cautious. I feel are dealing with the. It's because of the past, because of past hurt. You may not trust this person, and there's nothing wrong with that. Because of course you have to be cautious. Have to have to. But for some of you in the future, I feel like if you're dealing with the younger person, it's important to be cautious. I mean, like young people, they don't. You may be, you may be the traditional older person, and the younger person is like wishy washy, and you, you, they may come off as wishy washy and unstable. But that may just be on the surface. Like, you may have seen these behaviors and you're like, okay, I don't know if... I don't know if I should be opening up to this person. And for some of you, you're right. You should be cautious. And you should be strong. But I feel like for some of you, this person is... Can bring something stable, even though it doesn't look that way. So, and I feel like this person is a fire sign, which explains it because fire signs can come off. Like, especially us Aries, we are childlike. So if you're dealing with another Aries, you may think, okay, maybe they might be not mature enough for me. But I don't feel like that's the case, but I do feel like you should definitely be cautious. I'm not saying anything bad is going to happen. I'm saying it's important, especially if you've been hurt, to just be cautious either way. Until you see something that you feel comfortable with, that makes you feel comfortable moving forward, then you can, then you should go ahead, but definitely be cautious. Okay, so that was your mid-month now let's move on to the how does he or she feel about you so for Aries May 2018 how does he or she feel about Aries Let's see what she feels about Aries. How does he or 
see feel about Aries. It seems like this person is viewing you as a threat also. <laughs> I feel like they they are being defensive too. Maybe they were the one being offensive from the beginning, but it seems like they also feel that you may hurt them if you feel like they may hurt you. They do see you as somebody who is charming, who can give them stability, but also caution. They really, they really caution, they feel defensive. Maybe they feel like they're walking on eggshells talking to you. Even if you don't think that, you never know what a person's thinking. Like a person could be shy and they won't tell you, especially if you're dealing with a man. He's not gonna tell you that he's scared of you. <laughs> He's he's worried about the things that he says because you know Aries were fiery. He or she, sorry. And so they may feel like you can be like they may feel a little bit attacked. I don't know I don't wanna use the word attacked, but that's what I'm seeing in the card. They feel like tension when when you talk when you guys talk and but they do see you as someone stable they see you as someone who came into their life who could possibly be there for the long run they see you as a possible breath of fresh air they see you as someone different from what they usually go for so for those of you who are the mom the more Mature ones, older ones, this younger person sees you as... So maybe they don't usually date older people. And they just see you as something different, something stable. And they may see you as like a mother or father figure. It's a bad choice of words. Like they just look, they just feel that same intimidation that they feel, that you'd feel from your parents. Like that same slight fear and I don't feel like they're telling you that though maybe some of you see it but yeah that's what I'm seeing I want to clarify the nine of swords Find nine of swords. Okay. okay, they see you as somebody more mature again. 
This could be an Aries, which is you. I definitely feel like it's the Aries in you that is giving them this feeling, this intimidation. But there is this stability. It's like they may have felt defeated in the past by someone else. And then you come in and you're just like this secure, you give them this secure feeling, but they still, they're still a bit intimidated by you at the same time. So, I feel, I definitely feel like both of you are fire signs. I definitely have strong fire in both your charts. But I feel like this person that you're dealing with is slightly more calm than you are. And definitely they feel the tension. For some of you, you may be the one feeling tension and you may be dealing with an, another Aries. Whether it's their sun sign, their moon sign or their ascendant sign, or their Venus sign. And you may feel like you're walking on eggshells. You may feel like you need to be on defense. You may feel like you need to watch what you say. But I feel like this person is not as bad as you think. Like I, I, I'm not saying they're bad, I mean, I just feel like you don't have to be so threatened by them you don't have to be so intimidated because this is someone who can bring stability so that was your reading for may mid-month of may 2018 i hope you enjoyed this reading be sure to like comment and subscribe if this resonates with you also share if you have a friend who needs to hear this message and thanks for watching